Hello everyone, so today we will proceed with our hard surface tutorials and um, yeah, so let's import the image and as you can see it's a simple image I will create a plane whoops let's create a simple plane make it scale by 10 I will assign new material, it will be damn it uh, I will assign uh, new material lumber. Okay, okay. So on that lumber material, okay. Let's let the hook in this mess. Okay, probably I will select how I appreciate this. Let's make it a bit bigger. Okay, so let's select our Lambert and in the Lambert material, just in the color, I'll hook this uh, texture. Great. Awesome. So let's press 6 on the keyboard and we will see our. Uh, I guess I don't know. This object. Okay, but it's not perfectly, as you can see, aligned. It's not. Perfectly scaled, but in general, we know that it should be uh, cylindrical shape. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so let's start probably yeah, from the cube. Okay, so I'll select that image. Let's do reference and uh, yeah, just create a cube probably. Will be a good. And uh, I will add some divisions in one direction, another direction. Great. And uh, let's scale a bit. Yep. Something like that. Very good. I'll select the and lines let's say and try to do a little bit around the shape as you can see yep awesome okay so we have something like that probably i will do extrusion offset great something like that Awesome, and for a bottom part, I will probably delete it with the needed. Okay, I will scale a bit, sort maybe something like that for now. Okay, so let's go to the top view. I'll probably align it with. Uh huh. With uh, maybe with this one. Okay, let's freeze transform. Real history. Shift D. Duplicate. Awesome. Shift D to repeat this operation. I will select them all. Move to the top to align with. This guys, great. So shift D, move to the bottom, to the second line, let's say. Okay, shift D, shift D, shift D. Okay, so we don't need only this four parts, as you can see, and we can assign them to another layer here and leave it as a reference. And probably I will hide for now. Okay. So, what we'll do next, we'll create a cylinder. Let's check this out from the top. And, uh, yeah, probably I will assign new material or exactly we have a lumber 2 or blin 1, let's say, okay? We have a blin. We will try to use transparency for that. Yeah. Okay. So 
need to decide how many subdivisions we want to see in here. And basically, I'm trying to align this, uh, this part. We want to see one line which will be penetrating this area as well. So I don't know, maybe. Twenty one. Twenty four. Twenty four looks great. Okay, so I will keep it on twenty four and uh we need another cylinder and uh this one can be very simple. Let's enable our wireframe view. Let's try eight now. Okay, we will sign material so basically can be something like this yeah we can stretch it to the sides and connect these points I thinking like that and when we will smooth it it should have this proper line okay so what we'll do then just uh, freeze clear the history let's go to the boolean and just do boolean great so uh, yeah we can oops we can just try merge all these words yes Awesome. Okay, just be careful. Great. Repeat the process on the bottom part. One. Okay. Okay. So, as we can see, it looks. Great, almost great. So let's select all and merge them. Okay, and I think that this uh, too too fat, or I don't know. I will try to do the bottom part smaller. Okay, something like that. Great. So you know what I'm thinking. I'm thinking to select it and do offset extrusion. In order to maintain the circle, great. Let's do again G to repeat command and extrusion, something like that. Awesome. Probably I will do extrusion in here as well. well you know, it should be bigger, so maybe something like that. But we will play. A bit later with uh with uh, all the proportions let's say right now we trying to understand if our let's say CD model will be working fine and we need here only about the what at this moment and as you can see we have a three angles yeah <laughs> no worries we will fix it okay so what i will do i will delete this part great and let's center our pivot duplicate the object and rotate it by 180 just uh, merge mesh merge vertices and that's it we have uh, the shape great so what i will do next probably i need to penetrate uh, to to have a holes let's say in this area As you can see in here should be a bolt or something like that yeah awesome so uh, let's add the cylinder and uh, for a cylinder we can draw the Eight subdivisions because we already had it in here 
eight subdivisions. Yeah, so just look like that. Let's do again boolean command. So let's clear everything before doing this operation. I don't remember which I was selected first, but oh well, we will see. So we need the difference, and definitely the sequence was wrong. Okay, and it's right now working fine. Wonderful. But I bet it's too big. Yeah, we need a little bit smaller area for a ball. Maybe even smaller, and I don't want to penetrate that that uh, that way. Okay, so let's select object. Let's select the object in the mesh and just do a boolean. Okay, so great. We can do next again. We will just delete one side. We will just duplicate and rotate it. Select, combine. And uh, merge vertices, awesome. And uh, yeah, we can right now. Oops. Probably remove our transparency for this object. And let's check how this points will look. And I know we can scale a bit this part or we can shrink down this uh this you no know, bolts or how how would be called I don't know it's probably I will hold it like that no but maybe I will just a bit I'll increase this part hmm Okay, and bring it down a bit. No. Okay, we probably need to bring this guys up. Okay, so in order to control them all, just duplicate or uh, just combine it. Let's select the bottom part. Okay. Something like that will be great. Okay, so as you can see, it's uh, stretching a lot. So what we can do, we can select our cutting tool. Whoops. And we can do some cuts. Just in order to maintain the, you know, we can do another thing. We can Select similar, so just select similar. And we can do devil in this area. You we will use the chamfer, okay? And for me, it looks pretty good, okay? So let's work on this one part. Okay. So what we can do? We'll check our uh, sub D, and definitely we'll need support appliance. And yeah, once again we will do devil for that. Simple as that. Just devil, devil, devil. Okay, okay. Select all these lines which I want to bevel. And probably this guy's. Whoops, this guy's not merged after the boolean command, so we will need to fix it later on. Enter up. Okay, dokie. So let's look how how it will look in the Smooth preview and in the smooth preview it's looking pretty good, but we have very big stretching in, in, in this area and like it. Okay, so we can 
do something like that probably we'll just add a few divisions right now it's looking better probably i will remove the, that edge in order to get so let's say softer transition okay okay so let's fix this area so go to the vertex point let's select the tool for a weld points yeah and uh i can see that we deleted that center line without um, without vertices vertex points so we need to fix it later i've just undo a few times and uh, we'll proceed again with a uh, we were merging, yep, just to be clear on that. Okay, so very awesome. Wait a second, let's check this out. Okay, so what we will do next, probably I will move a bit from here, or you know, I will select them both. And from the center, try to move with a control and shift in order to have it on the normal base. Okay, so I will select this holes, uh, edge lines, and again do the bevel. And let's check this out. It's looking great, but I will probably remove. The bottom part and uh, yeah as we want to have a quad we can remove this part and it will be a as you can see quad based yeah okay let's do the same thing in here i will remove this line i will remove this side planks and we will have a quad wonderful okay in here definitely on the bottom part we want to have a bevel yeah let's check this out and it's looking good okay so for a homework you can do the rest a bolt okay so for the bolt as we will make a lot of bolts i don't want to play in each tutorial and create a bolt so um i will do a separate tutorial on just for the bolt cap how to model it and uh, yeah so basically we have another part for our uh, main tutorial great everything is quad in quads almost okay so we can delete each second vert in here as well and we will get a quad okay, so let's do some cleanup okie dokie and as you can see we have a quad but uh, i don't know i don't know Okay, we can so just uh, try to play with that like this and probably we'll circle eyes. And yeah, it's, it's a bottom part that can be deleted to be honest. But just in case we have everything in quads everything is cool and uh, yeah just clear the history please transformation center the pivot and great guys you completed another task we have a second part name it i forgot that in the center we have a as well as lines so i've just do the clean up in here too as we did from the bottom part but not from this one, so that's a shame. Okay, let's do this. 
Awesome. Now everything is in quads. Just remove the whoops. Remove the wireframe. And yeah, you can see we already have a bolt. <laughs> yeah, it was fast, yeah. Great. So yeah guys, uh, stay tuned and we will work on uh, on other details and soon we will have a asset for our portfolio. Okay, see ya.